Hey everyone, it's PhD Simmer and welcome back to The Sims 4 Discover University Let's Play. So we're here with um, Jake and he's feeling a little embarrassed because he's trying to have a shower, bless him, and the, the guys, the jocks are just hanging around in the bathroom after they both went for a well, the two boys went to the toilet at the exact same time, got up, flushed at the exact same time. Then they just proceeded to have a conversation in the bathroom whilst poor old Jake is trying to shower and he's feeling embarrassed. He's got a mood lit. Oh, he's so cute, bless him. He has got a mood lit saying, it's very open here and everyone can see everything. He's trying to have a shower. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. So um, it's the next day. Everybody had a really good night's sleep, actually. Most people woke up fairly refreshed. So I'm going to have him, actually let's get him to get um, his laundry. He did do his laundry. Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay, so somebody actually put the dryer on for him, which I thought was very cute. We're going to have him get a quick meal of some cereal from his mini fridge. He's going to go and like sit in his room. Emma Louise has gone off to class. Zara has just come back from her morning shift. I mean, she's not, you know, her fun levels are not very high, but she actually went to her job and was fine about it so I'm gonna have her come and challenge someone to a game of ping pong let's play ping pong against uh pixie daydream why not Carmen is still asleep I'm gonna have her oh she just woke up by herself let's have her get up and get something she doesn't have a mini fridge unfortunately so we're gonna have to get something from here let's get a quick meal of um Whew, what might she want? Yogurt. And I don't know if she's got class. I think she does, but a little bit later today. So I might have her just do some studying. She Oh, she does have to give her presentation, so she couldn't go and do that. Give her final presentation. Boost that brain of yours with some yogurt and go and give that presentation. <laughs> Poor Jake. Jake, just get out of there, dude. He's like, I'm going to wash my hands. I love the fact these two boys are just, like, chilling in the bathroom. Like, why? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Oh, I thought she was. She took her yogurt with her. Okay. <laughs> I thought she might uh, eat her yogurt first. Jake, suck it up. <laughs> he's just gonna. He's, oh no, don't sleep. He's just gonna sit on his bed and eat his cereal and feel sorry for himself. <laughs> Bless him. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's gonna go and face everybody. Oh, so it. Oh, I see. I see. So Juno Performan is dating Kai in this. <laughs> really. Oh, look at him giving him the side eye. He's like, hey, dude. Nice package you had there. <laughs> Let's give him a friendly intro. Be cool, Jake. Be cool. Uh, what does this say for Emma Louise? You get a call. Otis, I heard you became friends with Broderick Green. How, Otis? We don't even know you. Another game of ping pong is done. Does Zara win? Find a score. Yes, she won. Perfect. She's feeling probably good about herself. Oh, are they shaking uh, hands? In oh, she's so happy. <laughs> Let's uh, challenge her to a rematch. Get our fun levels up. Well, you know who we should challenge, actually? Let's challenge our, uh, our little friend here. Let's challenge Ethan. Fancy challenging me to a game of ping pong, Aoife? Ethan? Sophia, this is the, the model. I can't get it out of my mind. Want to go on a date? An underwear model was asking him out on the date. We're going to go. Why the hell not? That was not my plan for this part. I was going to go over to the art centre with Zara today. But apparently we're going on a date with a supermodel. <laughs> underwear model. Okay, she actually um, is wearing something fairly decent. This place is really cool. This is a really cool field. It does kind of look like a sushi bar. So we're going to... Let's grab a booth. A little bit more datey. So we're going to grab a booth. He's feeling extremely like, oh my god. He's not he's not looking forward to this day. He's kind of terrified. He's like, she is way out of my league. She clearly likes you though, Jake. Oh, she changed her outfit. <laughs> Let's uh, try and tell her a little self-deprecate joke. Emily is turning the home con confidently. Oh, brilliant. Well done, girl. Uh, and she's got another class. She has three today, actually, which is kind of crazy. Oh, so where, where are you going? <laughs> We're supposed to be getting a table. She is, she's slightly creepy, isn't she? She's like taking him down to the, the dungeon. Let's do a Brightchester cheer. Oh my God, he's so... This is not going well, is it? <laughs> we don't, they don't even like each other. They are attracted to each other, but they don't even like each other. She's clearly from the different uni. Let's go get our table. I think this date is going to be horrendous. 
Or he at least he's feeling happy now. He's got such a deep voice. Carmen, I don't know if she's still giving her presentation. Oh, Jake's got to go to class in an hour. Wow. I think he's going to skip out on this date. Jake, get out of here. She's she's taking you down to the basement. She walks around in that underwear the whole time. Just bail. Just bail. Bail, 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 bail. <laughs> get out of there. But he's done his term paper, which is great. He didn't do his homework, but he did his term paper. Um, 32 minutes. Oh, God. We need to talk to her for that long. I think we need to tell her when we're not interested. Friendly, can we ask just to be friends? I'm slightly worried about you. <laughs> you scare me. Ask just to be friends. He's only got eyes for Emma Louise at the moment, who really, she shouldn't have. And at the end of the last part, I was just sorting all their needs out at home. Oh God, he's feeling flirty. He's like, I just want to be friends. You scare me. You terrify me. Let's have him go. Let's get out of here. He's like, I've got to go to class now. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Carmen has come out of her presentation, but it doesn't actually, it didn't pop up to say anything that I can see. It just said that she's obviously got to go to another class. Um, but it has ticked off to say she has given a presentation. Students have been given a blank presentation board in their inventories. They're expected to complete and present their presentation for a large part of their grade before the end of term. So she's done that, which I'm quite pleased about. I don't know how she takes the final exam. I guess we just have to wait. So she needs to, where is she going now? She's going to do her homework. now. I'm actually going to send her back to the dorm to get a shower. So let's just see where we are. Yeah, let's get her to get a nice shower and then she can concentrate on that. Jake is also back from his class and he's grabbed himself. He loves his croissants. Yeah, he, he always seems to go for the croissant. I don't know what else they sell here, to be honest. Maybe that's all they sell. But he's just going to eat that. That was such an awkward day. I feel like he feels so weird about it, but um, that's fine. I'm going to let him finish this so he doesn't just dump it on the ground. He's, he's bought it. Okay, let's do our homework. And I do want to tell... Oh, Zara, you're supposed to be in class. Otis, hey, Zara, do you want to go on a date? Oh, he didn't even answer the call. She's so busy at um, uni nowadays. She just didn't even answer the call. Let's go to class. Okay, so everybody's out of class. And I'm actually going to have... Um, I think I might have each of them just check in on their progress. So, tutor. No, I don't want tutor. Where do we click? I think it might be... Maybe this one, visit university housing. Nope. Is it this building? Which building is it? I'm sure there's a building here where we can uh, visit office hours. Ah, uh, okay, so 11 till 3 p.m. Fine, okay, so I just wanted to see how they were doing on their class. Actually, we can do it via email, so maybe we should have them visit the commons and get some dinner. And then I do want to go to this art center that I have got for Zara. So we're gonna visit the Ubright commons. We're gonna take, um, I guess everybody can come because there's plenty for them to do. Okay, so I think dinner is probably about 5 p.m. So I'm going to have everybody come and email their professors and ask them how they're doing. So university, email professor about progress. Oh, we have to do it for each class. Wow. Okay, looks like food is going to be ready soon. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, food is ready. Let's get some grilled chicken. Carmen is a little hungry, so we'll get some. Oh, no. We don't add a little spice. Let's get some butternut gnocchi. Uh, course grade status. Uh, you are doing exceptionally well, considering that we've still got a few days left in the term. Keep it up and you get top marks. Um, you're doing fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe he's not doing so well. Let's get some food. Um, she's doing exceptionally well for go figure drawing. Uh, oh no, Jake has fallen a bit behind in programming 101. Uh-oh. I feel like it would be better to have this on the UI rather than having to email. Um, so in dance, she's doing fine. Oh, she, she could do a little better in her dance class. Um, let's have Jake then. Let's just get everyone to come and eat, I think, first. We can't do any food. We can't do any food. We can't do any hard work without any food in our belly. We're gonna have Zara come and add a little spice because that's what she likes to do. 
Um, she needs to work a little bit on her dance, but that's fine. Submit a term paper and she needs to do her homework. Okay. Well, we're actually going to go to this art centre um, place later once she's eaten. I think we'll take Zara on our own and let the others just study at home. Actually, maybe, I don't know, maybe we should take Emma Louise. Mm, nah. Changed my mind. Okay, she's going to go home because she needs to take a shower. Carmen's going to eat and Jake's going to eat and then they can go home. We'll have Zara chat to him a little bit. We'll ask him about his day and we'll talk about the sunny weather. <laughs> I love the fact she did that. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to send Carmen home as well. Poor Jake. Oh, he can't cope with it. Okay, everyone, Zara has come to this art center um, just to concentrate a little bit on her painting skill. It's a pretty cool place. Um, it was an old pub and it's been converted to an art center. Um, so upstairs we have like a bar area and um, a painting room. We've also got flower arranging and some keyboards, bathrooms, all that sort of stuff. It's like a mix of old and new I guess and then upstairs we have woodworking, chess, uh, all sorts of stuff, Mur murals and all that good stuff so Zara's just working on her painting skill. I guess I could get Carmen to come over and work a little bit on flower arranging so we get her to make a bluebell uh, flower arrangement which I think would be cute and Zara reached painting level seven that is perfect. Um, yeah, so this is definitely an arts and crafty place. Look at uh, Angela Pleasant. Oh, it's Lily Pleasant. Zara, something crazy is going down at the ruins. Want to check it out? No, Jocelyn. <laughs> Why is mum inviting us? We've also got a bar here because it's also a university like hangout spot as well. So um, it's a creative place, you know? <laughs> so she's working on her, her art skill. I'm surprised that's not um, bringing her fun levels up, but oh well. And Carmen is doing her flower angel, which I'm sure she's able to concentrate whilst people are playing the guitar. <laughs> This girl's got no pants on. <laughs> Angela's got, oh no, she's got very, very short shorts on. Oh, who's this? Matthew? Oh, okay. Zara, I tell you, Zara does attract all the, of the good looking guys. Look at her little drawing. She's really good. Let's go talk to Matthew. Who is he? Where is he? I want to know who he is. Oh, he looks the artistic type. <laughs> he's an adult. He's not even a young adult. He's an artiste, I imagine. He's like, hey, I was just about to practice uh, my uh, singing. <laughs> or whatever he was doing by the piano. So He's like, hey, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Oh, the underwear model's here again. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, let's tell him an unbelievable story. Discuss vampires. She also always her uh, opening, her opening line. <laughs> I also wanted her to do a little bit of homework for her, I think it was her dance class that she needed to work on a little bit, so I'm going to have her do that. Carmen, we don't have any idea. Oh, this is cute. Let's put that in our inventory. We made that. We can add that to our, put that on our, in our room. Actually, let's, um, let's add a vase. Let's add party confetti vase and put that in our inventory. Perfect. <laughs> Can't believe the underwear model is here again. Okay, we're going to get Carmen to do some of her own work. So, oh, we have five days for class for one of her classes. Brilliant. Ten hours. So how do we take a final exam? The final exam will occur during the final class of the term. So don't miss it. Nervous Sims may wish to purchase a textbook from the bookshelf or a kiosk and spend some time studying. Okay, let's do our homework for flower arranging. You would think that our, um, our, our doing of flower arranging would help, but maybe not. But maybe being in this artistic atmosphere will help the homework just go down. He's like, you're a little strange. <laughs> I just love, look how expressive she is when she tells stories. She's mad. He's like, well done. I take it that was your audition. You're in. <laughs> She's like, no, that's just me. <laughs> Does she have to do a presentation? Oh, I don't even, I haven't even looked at aspiration. Achieve level three in the research and debate skill. Oh dear, we haven't really done that. Hey, she learned flower aging level two. Perfect. Um, so we need to, yes, we do need to give a presentation. So why don't we put that in the world? Oh, hey, look at them studying together. I like the fact that they seem to have fixed it so people actually um, sit at tables. Uh, why can't I put this down? I think I would be able to, but apparently not. Just, just take up the whole in, uh, entrance, Zara. Just, 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 <laughs> let's just like her. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to bring Emma Louise here. 
just for fun. She wants to have a party. Uh, introduce yourself to 10 Sims. Now, that said 9 out of 10 at one point, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. Oh, and I forgot to say, she did actually invite Broderick over to her, her hall and they did woohoo. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that happened. We're going to invite over Brent to hang out and have a drink with Brent. <laughs> Let's come and order a drink. Let's order a drink of, well, she would have a river, river blossom cabinet. <laughs> I think I'll send Carmen home once she's finished her homework. Brent Hastings will be right over. Of course he will. This is Emma Louise we're talking about. Everyone's dying to be with Emma. She'll be like, yeah, I found this little place that my uh, roommate said was really cool. So, oh, you want to do your homework? <laughs> this wasn't a this wasn't a uh, a study club. This was her wanting to flirt with you. Because <laughs> she thinks you're hot, okay? Uh, look at her studying away. She's so distracting to her room. <laughs> oh, we learned that Brent's an art lover. That's cool. Let's uh, flatter him a little bit. <laughs> she is so smooth. Express admiration for him. Oh, it must be so difficult for you. What degree are you doing? Mm. I'm doing psychology. You need to be extremely smart to do that, which I am, of course. <laughs> oh my god, mum has turned up. Mum's done a surprise visit. Oh lord. But to be honest, she is working. Oh my god. Let's come and give our mum a hug. Mum's come to check oh, out so what we're doing. Oh, She's doing a surprise it. visit. That does not surprise me in the slightest. Um, let's come and uh, ask about another sim. Let's ask how our boyfriend's doing. Let's ask how Otis is doing. They haven't really spoken that much after they had that fight. Um, but I think he will make her another appearance. He's a. Je I think he's gonna be a jealous type. I didn't set his traits or anything, but I think he would be a jealous type. Zara, you supposed to go see your mum. Where has she gone? Did she go? Did she literally just come and spy and then leave? I think she might have done that. Oh my God. Her mum is amazing. I love her. We're going to come and capture some information. How's Carmen doing? Carmen's going to go home after this. And how's Emma Lou doing? Um, let's ask about his career. I think he lives in our hall. Maybe he doesn't. Ask about degree. Yeah, let's find out what he's doing. I love the fact that people walk around in painted clothes and things here. It's cool. Emma Louise has learned that Brent is majoring in fine art. Well, no wonder he was keen to hang out at the art center. He would definitely like this vibe. Okay, she needs to step up her game. Let's tell him a joke. Let's flirt with him a little bit. Ask about his day. Flatter him a little bit. <laughs> Chef Otos. <laughs> She has got so much charisma, it's crazy. Flirt with him a little bit more. Oh, who left their homework? I think that was Brent. Carmen's off home and Zara is working on a presentation. I can't believe her mum didn't even say hi. She was probably just like, I don't want to disturb you whilst you're at uni. I don't want to interfere. Uh, but I just wanted to check how you were because you're my baby girl. <laughs> my only child. Oh. Look at her little face. She's just like, I don't know if this looks right. I want to get a picture of this face. <laughs> Look. It's like, I don't know about this. I think you might need to go to the optician just squinting. Okay, once she's done this, I will have her put this in her inventory and go home because she's getting a little tired. Whereas Emma Louise, it's, oh, no, mum's still here. <laughs> Let's have her be like a champion. Mum's just sneaking around. She doesn't want to be seen. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, he's like, you're so funny. <laughs> Embrace him. Can we get that first kiss? Ask him a risque question. Flirt a little bit more. Where's that first kiss? There we go. Look at Lilith in the background just shaking her head, just like, no, no. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> she saw the flirting of, uh, what was his name, Broderick, so... She's like, that girl, she's going to get herself a bad reputation. 
Here we go. Look at his face. He's like, woucher. <laughs> he don't know what hit him. Now she's just going to be like, excuse me, I need to get to the bathroom. <laughs> just kiss and walk away. Leave him wanting more, Emma Louise. All right, I'm going to send her back home now. <laughs> it's 1.55 a.m. Oh, well, you never learn. <laughs> Zara, you've got a class tomorrow. You've probably got you've probably got coffee shop duties, actually, tomorrow. Cause it's Friday. I think she's going to pull an all-nighter. She's going to study all night, go to her um, job in the morning. I think her mum's going to be proud of her, but slightly worried about her at the same time. Because she's going to run herself ragged. But she did it. Look at her. Oh. Ask for feedback. No, mum's not. Mum's not wanting to be around. I don't know why. Oh, she's so tired. Let's put that in our inventory. And let's go back home for a few hours of sleep. Look at her little face. She's like, I did it again. I stayed up to 2 a.m. But you know, when the creativity hits you, <laughs> you just got to keep going. Okay, so they've arrived back home and I'm going to have Emma call. I don't know, he might say he's in bed, but we're going to call over Brent. Let's see if he's around. He might say he's asleep. Brent is sleeping. Well, that was a long conversation <laughs> to say he was sleeping, but I think his name's Hastings, isn't it? Let's do, let's do a little cheery cheery. Let's summon Sim by name. Uh, Brent Hastings. Brent, Brent Hastings will be right over and we're going to, um, where is he? Chad Devine, Juno Performan. There he is. <laughs> Let's hook up in bed. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. Is that new for university? Or is that a mod? Chat with Brent. Okay. Oh my god, look at all these flirty guys she's like having around. <laughs> oh no, this is so bad. Hook up in bed. Oh my god, I have not seen this before. Off they go. Zara starts working an hour and she's freaking exhausted. Oh, bless her. Jake is doing okay and so is Carmen. They're just working on some bits of work. Um, and Emma is obviously definitely doing okay. Oh, well, that's not even your bed. Is this Jake's bed? Oh, Pixie's bed. Oh, lordy. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie. Not even your own bed. Emma Louise, I'm disgusted by you. <laughs> right, she's going to go back to her own bed now. <laughs> oh... Okie dokie, it's 7am. I'm going to get... Um, Jake to do some laundry. It's starting to pile up a little bit. And uh, he, I think he's quite, uh, he's quite on top of his laundry. You can see he's got all his folded clothes in his room, but I think some of the other Sims probably won't be. <laughs> well, let's have him wash that laundry. And then he's gonna go sort himself out for the day. It's Fridays, they don't tend to have any classes much. Well, they have one each. So Jake's got one at 9.30, so that's pretty good going. He's done his homework. He's gonna go and see if he can get an early shower because he really doesn't like showering in the communal bathrooms. Carmen, I think, has class. I think she's on her way. Where is she? Yeah, she's just waiting to go into class. She's on time. She's done her homework. This is all brilliant. I'm so happy. Zara is back from work. She was a little late. Her boss did start phoning, but um, she got there in the end. And she doesn't have class till 1 30, so I'm going to send her straight back to bed. Um, don't tell me he's our roommate. Ethan's our roommate. It's like it's destined. <laughs> I think in the next part, we might have her boyfriend come and visit um, and uh, be a bit um, nervous about how much rapport she has with her boyfriend. <laughs> We're going to have Emma Louise get a quick meal of some cereal. Otis, I heard you became friends. Mm -hmm. He's he's on ta he's taking tabs of what's going on. So, uh, Jake has class at 9.30. Carmen has two classes today, I think. And I don't think Emma Louise has any. So this is her, her day to really knuckle down, I suppose. But she's not going to. She's going to go to the gym and 
um, hang out there for a bit. I have put a new gym and I've put an internet cafe in as well. So she's probably going to do that. We're going to uh, tell this guy a funny story. He he likes Emma a lot, but she's like, mm, no. <laughs> I think he's just gone to class, actually. So we can't do that. What's he got in his go to class? Oh, yeah, you better go, Jake. Don't be late. Off you go. Oh, nice outfit. <laughs> Um, so in the next part, I think we're going to check out the internet cafe and the, um, what's the word? The gym next door. There are only two small lots and they are in the university world. I deleted some of the housing. Um, where, are you, where are you going? No, don't go talk to him outside. Talk to Pixie instead. Fish for compliments. <laughs> but like, I will hood in your bed. <laughs> she probably would tell her about that. Because she's just that sort of girl. Let's have a gossip. That'll be it. We'll come and gossip with her. We're going to brag about our grades. Oh, we learned that Pixie's jealous. Okay, Carmen's done. Why is she insecure? Oh, she's feeling really insecure right now. Let's have her come to her room and just like chill on her PC for a while. Um, and Jake should be back from class no he's going to class he's got class at 9 30 fair enough and zara is still asleep okay so i think i might end this episode here i hope you enjoyed it sorry if it's a bit jumpy it's just with controlling four sims around i just i'll cut out all of the sort of me jumping around as much as i possibly can and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, in the next part, we will check out some more venues and it will be the weekend soon. So we will do some more social activities. We're probably going to throw a juice kegger on the Saturday, I think. I think uh, Emma Louise would love to throw a gold level juice kegger. She would be, because she is all about that social life. <laughs> and she can invite all of her boys and we'll see what kicks off. Because <laughs> she's not officially dating any of them. So, you know, she's still a single Pringle. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. If you liked it, do leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.